now we will need to look at how we can create those dynamic routes so what i'm trying to handle here is this which is category slash web gives me a list of all the articles which are tagged as web and similarly slash travel gives me all articles which are tagged as travel the url for my blog is category and then slash the name of the category and i would like to retain that so how do we do this i go inside my pages folder or you know what Be before we actually jump into creating the js files i want to handle my prettier formatting so that you know the consistency is maintained so let me first create a file you will see an icon like this p if you have the extension okay now inside prettier i will create a json and add certain parameters like trailing comma is es5 which is fine i want my tab width to be 2 which is okay i need semicolon to be true single quote should be false okay these are my preferences and i want this to be maintained and then let's look at how we create our file so we go inside pages we'll create a file inside a folder called category and our file name will be inside square bracket category.js so you can see there is a folder called category and then we have category.js so if we have a folder something like pages slash category slash and then inside square bracket category.js what the router understands is that this piece is a dynamic part of the url and whenever we are working with the routers this will be available to us okay this is like the router understands that this can change and based on that we can do whatever we want so let's see how we can work with the query parameter which is available to us through the router create a constant i'll export that space so should be two okay it will return some markup we'll have a div and then h1 let's just say it shows category as the title of the page and now if we load our index page inside here our app we have documentation so why don't we go there create app series it says documentation we will do web articles obviously the design will be different but for now let's just keep things simple so i have an a tag okay we had created a link for our about page right if you remember this is our ugly looking about page why don't we do a similar thing for our web page as well so link we add the href in here and then now i'll cut this piece okay href and now we should have the dynamic part here as well so how does uh, the linking work if i have href then i can do category slash and then like this okay so it says that i am trying to link to this url however i need to pass the correct parameter i am looking for web article so i need to pass the web part of it so how do we do that we have one more parameter which is as so category slash web is what i am looking at if i save and it should have refreshed yeah so i'm not sure if you are able to see the url right at the bottom of my screen but it shows localhost 3000 slash category slash web so if i click on it it takes me to the page where i can see category okay however we haven't done anything much on this page and basically the first thing the ba bare minimum is we should be able to get at least this parameter over here so how do we do do that let's come over here and let's see how we can get the data from the url so next.js gives us use router okay we can import that from next router so let's create an instance of the router using this 
and now this will have certain properties inside it you can let's just console and see whatever is there however i don't think the query parameters will be available in the console right now but there is no harm looking at it so you can see server route says the route is category slash inside square bracket category path name is the same query is empty for now the as path comes as this okay so on the server right now it doesn't know about the parameter okay everything here is on the front facing part of nextjs okay the server is not yet ready to handle but as i told you the router does give us the ability to get the parameter so if i do something like category equals router dot query okay just look at it carefully right now my query is empty okay however i'm saying i want to destructure category from router dot query which was not pres uh, present in the server route let's just see if we can get the console over here and you can see things are a little different over here right it says there is back and all the history part of it is there and in query i get category so that means i can destructure it here and then in my title i can add that and you can see the web part is coming so web i have travel right and if i do amitav roy i think it will work because we have not said anything about what is allowed and what is not what we are just saying is anything after category is the parameter which is termed as category and we will get that variable or that data through the router inside our component okay if you want to make a page which is dynamic in nature okay let's just say the content of that page is changing every minute what you can do is using this method you know, where your parameter is available you can get the data and then you can pull data from an api uh, it, the api can be somewhere else or it can be on next uh, js apis as well but you can fetch data using this information for example you have an endpoint which says you know give me all the articles when i pass you the category so you can pass that category and you can get those posts for those uh, for that category and you can render them however you know what i am trying to do in my case is make everything static files my blog doesn't change that frequently i am not a blogger who writes every day which means i can pretty much generate all the html's all the pages and their html files right so you know my performance whatever i will get will be very fast because it doesn't need to do any database query everything is pre compiled so no computation is required so when you want to do that there is a different way of handling things and that's something which we are going to see now